Welcome to the Canadian Scrapbooker Magazine web show. My name is Jackie. Mixed media flowers. We're going to show you some fabulous techniques to change it up a little bit with your Sissix die cuts. We're going to create these fabulous mixed media flowers that you see on these two cards. They're so simple and easy to do using some basic tools, a Sissix die, the die cut machine, some heavy super stock. I like to use uh, the Canadian Scrapbooker super stock because when I add Mod Podge or this um, PPA glue, it doesn't or PPA glue, it doesn't work. And some simple tissue paper that I'm going to crumple up to give it some texture. I'm going to add the PPA glue. You can use Mod Podge at home if you like, if that's what you have. I tend to be a fan of the PPA glue mostly because it's nice and thin and it's easier to work with. So I got it spread really nicely. And then I'm going to crinkle this once again, this tissue paper that you get from any dollar store or Walmart or whatever you like, it doesn't matter. And the more crinkles, the more I like it. I'm just going to pop it on. And you can see I can even do this. Can you see that at home? I can even wrinkle it up a little bit more to get some really fantastic texture lines. And then I'm going to put it aside and dry. And it does have to dry because I found that one time when I didn't let it dry enough and I ran it through the Big Shot machine, the tissue paper actually tore back. So you don't want that to happen. Over here I have a nice dry one. And I'm going to do a Kathy Allen technique that is so fantastic and fun and it's a stamping technique that's absolutely flawless. I'm going to use some clear snap multi-surface ink. What I am going to do is I'm going to re-ink this pad so it's nice and juicy. Just see the ink going on there. Rub it all in. I've got a fern stamp from Impression Obsession. And I'm going to go ahead, apply the ink, and now I'm going to smack down onto this piece of paper. See that? You can't screw this up. I know we've shown this before, but it is a hugely popular Kathy Allen technique that makes stamping just a breeze. And right now you're thinking, okay, that's not looking so good, but just wait. So now I've got this sort of a funky background with all different kinds of layers and now I'm going to create a flower. Using my Sissix dies and the Big Shot machine. Hear it cutting, and just for good measure, I'm go back. And I've used a scrap piece of paper, so you'll see that from the side. But there it goes. Look at how easily that came out. So I've got this gorgeous textured flower, and I'm going to then go ahead and I'm going to cut out some more, like I did here, using the same technique. And then I'm just going to layer them on top using some scrapbook adhesives by 3L Foam Squares. But I can also just go with my finger and give it some neat texture. So you can imagine now if I go on top and glue some on how I'm going to get the fullness of the flower. And you'll see on this one, this card, I also used some Impression Obsession stamps as well and did the same thing and then went ahead and inked the edges. 
And you can just go ahead and do that here. Just like that. Pop it out a bit more. Fast and so super duper easy. And you've got yourself some funky mixed media flowers. On this card you're gonna see right here this um, burlap string from May Arts. It comes in rolls like this. And you know what? Look at how I used it on both of these cards. Everybody needs a roll like that. All of the pattern paper on these two cards is from Simple Stories, along with the stickers and the die cuts and the brads. The die cut flower shapes are from Sizzix. The stamps that were used to stamp on the flowers are from Impression Obsession. The twine that's wrapping around both cards is from May Arts Ribbon. They call it their burlap string. And that fabulous piece of burlap that's matting the Give Thanks card is from Die Cuts with a View. The ink is from Clear Snap. And the cards were adhered together using scrapbook adhesives by 3L, foam squares, and their tape runner. Fast, easy, mixed media flowers on a dime. Until next time, take care and happy scrapbooking.